Hey folks, how's everybody doing tonight? So it's about 5.30 here. I've got the uh, blank plate on the little Kubota here with the trailer hitch on it. I went ahead and rented a small aerial lift. Uh, I just have to get it back tomorrow. And when I move stuff around in tight places, I like using this uh, blank plate with the uh, trailer hitch on it because I can put stuff more or less anywhere this way. And what we're looking at is out here in the pasture, it's a little bit hard to see, but actually right where those two horses are hanging out, you can probably just make out there's that tree overhanging the fence line pretty bad. And you can see we're in full-blown mud season here in Connecticut. Everything's just a muddy mess, looks terrible. Happens every year, there's nothing for it. <clears throat> so I want to get that tree nipped down and see if I can't get that uh, lift. It's a trailer lift. I want to see if I can get that in there this evening here. Uh, Meg's just getting ready to bring the horses in. She's heading out now. There she is, just on cue. We did manage to... Um, well, I can show you. We managed to get a whole mess of fence posts the other day before this uh, shutdown went into effect. So I've got projects I can work on here. We were able to get all of those. I've also got this uh, mini here on rental for a month. Uh, my work schedule is not messed with yet. They're talking about potentially putting us at half staffing. Um, but we're going to clean up this lower little bit of land down here below the barn, see if we can't make something out of that, make it look better and make it more mowable. I've just been grubbing uh, bullbriar and rocks out of there, and I want to continue doing that. We'll clean that all up. We'll give you an after at that at some point. The other thing I'm doing with the lift is if you see up there, that's our indoor riding arena. And on these rake edges this is a weed cover structure and they put the skeleton up for us and then we finished it so we were responsible for the, all the woodwork that you see and we had to flash in on the gable ends we had to tie into their fabric roofing and then lap that out over the the wood and i did two of these gable ends and then i ran out of time and we had a fellow here that's done good work for us come in and take care of the other ones and he didn't follow my design exactly, and we're having some problems with rain blowing up under the flashing. So I've got some seam tape, like what you would use for EPDM roofing. And I'm gonna get up there first crack in the morning. It rained today, so I don't wanna do it right now. But I'm gonna get up there first thing in the morning and get that seam tape put up there. I'll get some video of that, and we'll see how that repair works. So that's the main reason for having the lift. I'm just trying to get after a couple of other things uh, while I have it. I'll see if I can get you anything from tonight's adventures. If not, we'll be back with you in the morning. So we'll see how we do. Good morning, folks. Uh, it's a nice, chilly spring morning here on the farm. I'm up in the aerial lift right now. I know I'm breaking some rules because I don't have my harness on this second, but stuff happens. Uh, I'm up here doing a quick repair on the roof over the arena. Uh, I don't know how well you can make that out, but we had this uh, arena built. Well, we built it, I don't know, three years ago. And this is a fabric roof. It's uh, sort of like a high performance sailcloth. It's a poly and Kevlar weave. You can actually walk on this strictly speaking weight wise you can walk on it uh when when the guys put the membrane in uh you know they did stand on it a bit i wouldn't walk on it i don't want to hurt it so i'm working out of the lift this morning uh we had a bit of an issue with some water infiltration if you can see that extrusion that metal was supposed to lap over into the channel of that extrusion uh, I did half of this and we had a fella come in and help us with the other half and uh, he didn't quite copy my design so uh, I'm just gonna use this uh, this is a 
seam tape that you would use on like an EPDM uh, roof or like an RV roof. So I'm just uh, going along and trying to overlap into that channel so that we won't have any more leak. Because when, when the wind blows just right, it'll blow the water off the you know wide open sheet. It'll jump the extrusion there and blow up under the flashing and drip into the arena and we don't want that so i'm just putting this uh flashing on uh not flashing but tape on the flashing and hopefully that fixes it but it's a pretty morning here uh this is behind the arena so this is where all my junk gets stacked out of sight but overlooking the pond way off in the distance through the woods you can see the upper hay field still because there's no uh leaves on the trees and it's just kind of a nice start to the morning. So we're going to get this wrapped up. I got to return this lift rental real quick. And then I'm going rock picking. So catch you later. Hey folks. Uh, I hope you can hear me with the wind going. I'm just out here in this cornfield. I've been working on uh, rock picking. I just wanted to take a second and give you a look at how we're, how we're making out. I've got the tractor warming up. I got the hopper up on the rake. Uh, rock picker so that I can uh, get under there and get things greased. Wind's blowing today, so hopefully it'll dry the ground up enough that uh, this is going to work. We had a bunch of rain this week. So, yeah, we'll give it a shot. Let me flip you around here and I'll uh, walk you around the field a little bit, show you the progress we've been making. So it might be hard to appreciate it, but this is a lot flatter and a lot better. You can see I've still got one big sucker there it was too big to feed in but you know i've been picking out here for a minute a little guy there i have to grab this whole field edge i cut back and grubbed back a little bit i'll come out here with the excavator this week and i'll get that little pile of logs that's there in the distance that is a ledge outcropping there i'm gonna pull all those trees and scrub brush out of there and try to define that a little better so that when I start mowing this for hay next year, I can uh, see what I'm doing over there. You can see I've got this whole edge grubbed back. Some brush piles there. I want to push in a little bit further with the excavator. I've got, you know, there's a few ledge outcroppings in this uh, field. I, I think I mentioned before that during the last ice age, most of the topsoil in this state was scoured off of uh, the ground and pushed out into Long Island Sound. This uh, chunk here has a little bit of a grain to it, so there's a chance I might be able to, uh, I don't know, this is a moderately hard ledge, but I might be able to pop a little bit of this hard to say you can kind of see there's a little bit of a grain to it so if I can get in there and hook a seam I might be able to pop it if not I'll just clean all the dirt off the top so that nothing grows on it so that it stands out better when I'm mowing so I can see it to work around it you know a mower would float right up over this this even this steep part it would actually skim right over that not really get hurt too much and then come off the side there but I'll, I'll figure something out this back section here I haven't got into yet you can see there's kind of a it's kind of a horseshoe shaped field there's a wing over there and there's a wing over here I'm gonna get up into this section probably later today or tomorrow I'm actually gonna start over there where you can still see some stubble and uh, get that picked and then I'm gonna come in here with the excavator and I'm gonna push over all these little trees and push over all this brush and get things scrubbed back but you know other than the odd little rock here that got kicked past we're in pretty good shape we can mow most of this so probably with two hours of hand picking I can have all the little chunks picked out of here and uh, be in really good shape so I'm gonna keep after it and uh, yeah, I'll let you know how we make out today. I guess the rock picker wants to shelter in place. It's not cooperating with me. I just was on my way back out to the field and the wheel came off. 
so we probably had a bearing failure oh yeah we had a bearing failure that sucks there's the rock picker the bearings completely failed on this left hand side of the rock picker um pile of junk that's the inner race of the large bearing that's the outer race i, I broke it taking it out with the uh, air hammer i didn't get it on film i was just in a hurry that's the outer race um, i'm sorry outer bearing and race inner bearing and race the cage disintegrated that's the remnants of the seal so i'm going to run in the house make some calls it's saturday we're on a shutdown i don't know if i can get parts today and tomorrow is the only decent weather we've got for the next week so let's see what i can get together